bat bombs were an experimental World War II weapon developed by the United States. The bomb consisted of a bomb-shaped casing with numerous compartments, each containing a Mexican free-tailed bat with a small-timed incendiary bomb attached. Dropped from a bomber at dawn, the casings would deploy a parachute in mid-flight and open to release the bats which would then roost in eaves and attics. The incendiaries would start fires in inaccessible places in the largely wood and paper construction of the Japanese cities that were the weapon's intended target. Overview the bat bomb was originally conceived by a Pennsylvania dentist named Lytle S. Adams, a friend of First Lady Eleanor Roosevelt. Dr. Adams submitted it to the White House in January 1942, where it was subsequently approved by President Roosevelt on the advice of Donald Griffin. Adams observed that the infrastructure of Japan was especially susceptible to incendiary devices as many of the buildings were made of paper, bamboo, and other highly flammable material. The plan was to release bat bombs over Japanese cities having widely dispersed industrial targets. The bats would spread far from the point of release due to the relatively high altitude of their release, then at dawn they would hide in buildings across the city. Shortly thereafter built-in timers would ignite the bombs, causing widespread fires and chaos. The United States decided to develop the bat bomb during World War II as four biological factors gave promise to this plan. First. Bats occur in large numbers. Second, bats can carry more than their own weight in flight. Third, bats hibernate, and while dormant they do not require food or maintenance. Fourth, bats fly in darkness, then find secluded places to hide during daylight. Project Details By March 1943 a suitable species had been selected. The project was considered serious enough that Louis Fizer the inventor of military napalm, designed 0.6 ounce and 1 ounce incendiary devices to be carried by the bats. A bat carrier similar to a bomb casing was designed that included 26 stack trays, each containing compartments for 40 bats. The carriers would be dropped from 5,000 feet. Then the trays would separate but remain connected to a parachute that would deploy at 1,000 feet. It was envisioned that 10 B-24 bombers flying from Alaska, each carrying 100 shells packed with bomb-carrying bats could release 1,040,000 bat bombs over the target a Euro the industrial cities of Osaka Bay. A series of tests to answer various operational questions were conducted. In one incident the Carlsbad Army Airfield Auxiliary Air Base 32A degree 15 a Euro squared 39 a Euro cubed N104 a degree 13 a Euro squared 45 a Euro cubed W near Carlsbad, New Mexico, was set on fire on May 15, 1943, when armed bats were accidentally released. The bats incinerated the test range and roosted under a fuel tank. Following this setback, the project was relegated to the Navy in August 1943, who renamed it Projector X-Ray, and then passed it to the Marine Corps that December. The Marine Corps moved operations to the Marine Corps Air Station at El Centro, California. After several experiments and operational adjustments, the definitive test was carried out on the Japanese village a mock-up of a Japanese city built by the Chemical Warfare Service at their Dugway Proving Grounds test site in Utah. Observers at this test produced optimistic accounts. The chief of incendiary testing at Dugway wrote, A Euro OEA reasonable number of destructive fires can be started in spite of the extremely small size of the units. The main advantage of the units would seem to be their placement within the enemy structures without the knowledge of the householder or fire watchers, thus allowing the fire to establish itself before being discovered a Euro the National Defense Research Committee observer stated, a Euro OE it was concluded that X-ray is an effective weapon a Euro the chief chemist a Euro unregistered trademark S report stated that on a weight basis X-ray was more effective than the standard incendiary bombs in use at the time. A Euro OE expressed in another way, the regular bombs would give probably 167 to 400 fires per bomb load where X-ray would give 3625 to 4748 fire rays a Euro. More tests were scheduled for the summer of 1944 but the program was cancelled by Fleet Admiral Ernest J. King when he heard that it would likely not be combat ready until mid-1945. By that time it was estimated that $2 million had been spent on the project. 
it is thought that development of the bat bomb was moving too slowly, and was overtaken in the race for a quick end to the war by the atomic bomb project. Dr. Adams maintained that the bat bombs would have been effective without the devastating effects of the atomic bomb. He is quoted as having said, the infamous invasion by bats project was afterwards referred to by Dr. Stanley P. Loviel, Director of Research and Development for Office of Strategic Services, whom General Donovan ordered to review the idea, as Di fled a more sparse. Loviel also mentioned the bats during testing were dropping to the ground like stones. Cultural influence, the book Sunwing written by Kenneth Oppel was inspired by this plan. The song The Story of the Japanese Bat Bomb from the 2008 LP Doris, Buzz and Friends, written by John Crane, is also based on this plan, though it projects that its inventor was saddened by the bomb's imminent detonation. Adams and his Bat Bomb project are the subject of Derek C. Brown's poem, the project known as X-Ray, collected in Scandalabra. Alan Scott's novel The Anthrax Mutation used the Bat Bomb concept, but had the bats carrying volatile pouches full of powdered anthrax bacilli euro a genetically engineered strain of anthrax made to be very infective and very resistant to the effects of sunlight and temperature. The pouches fall free of the bomb casing and disintegrate once free of the low oxygen environment inside the bomb. Once in the air, the bats fly free and find niches to sleep in during the day, presumably in homes and offices. See also Project Pigeon Olga of Kiev, anti-tank dog, Japanese balloon bombs, military animals, explosive rat, references, A.B. Madrigal, Alexis C. Old, Weird Tech, The Bat Bombs of World War II. The Atlantic. Retrieved January 31, 2014 A, A.B. The Bat Bomber C. V. Glines, Air Force Magazine, Journal of the Air Force Association, October 1990, Volume 73, Number 10. Retrieved October 1, 2006. Drum, Patrick. Christopher Ova. A Batman to the Rescue. Monitor on Psychology 42, 24. Retrieved October 31, 2013. A, today's Satya Carlsbad Caverns National Park, Silverman, Steve. Einstein's Refrigerator, and other stories from the flip side of history. Andrews McMeal Publishing. PA 122. ISBN A 9780740714191. A. Loviel, Stanley P. Of Spies and Stratagems. Englewood Cliffs, New Jersey Prentice Hall, 1963, pages 63. Waller, Douglas C. Wild Bill Donovan, the spy master who created the OSS and modern American espionage. New York, Free Press, 2011, pages 104. Bat Bomb, World War II's Other Secret Weapon, by Jack Kufa, University of Texas Press, 1992, ISBN 0-292-70790-8, Weird Weapons, The Allies. Modern Marvels February 8, 2006 A, Loviel, Stanley P. Of Spies and Stratagems. Pocket Books. Asina B0007 ESKHE -E Spy Gadgetry, Espionage Equipment Designed to Fight Hitler, by Alan Lance Anderson, Games Magazine, April 2000. Scott, Alan. The Anthrax Mutation. Pyramid Books. Asina B0000 FMI. ISBN A0515039497 A, External Links. Top Secret World War II Bat Program Article on HistoryNet accessed February 9, 2006, Bats in Military Service.